You're Filipino. Um. <laughs> since you won't tell me what you are, you're Filipino. And guess what? I'm gonna tell everyone that you're Filipino. <laughs> Until you fucking tell me. I'll what confirm you are. it. Not say that's much, but yeah, yeah. I second that motion. Thank you. You said you and the rock are the same ethnicity. <laughs> They drink it. You, you just look, look, look like a group of people that drink coconut milk. <laughs> and, and eat boar. You eat boar. Have you ever judged a book by its cover? And were you proven wrong once you got to know the person? Um, I rarely judge people based off the cover. I rarely take reputation into consideration when I get to know people. And I don't take like my first couple of interactions into consideration of the person because I know that most people are a lot deeper than who they show in the beginning. I think in the beginning because a lot of people don't know each other yet, they kind of have like this stranger kind of acquaintance cloak. When I first meet people, I automatically assume that I'm meeting their cloak or whatever shield that they have and I rarely judge the book by its cover. I did think David So was a 5'3", 30 year old Korean guy, but that has no judgment on his character. I just thought he was a 5'3", 30 year old Korean guy, and when I met him, he was this humongous 6'2", 23 year old at the time, and I remember he got mad at me. He's like, what the fuck, 30 years old, shit. But it was just because of how mature he was on camera. I, love I don't know what they were looking for, but they were just like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we just lay a bunch of open condoms everywhere and then Anthony and Lawrence just wrestled together? Like, yeah, that was it's just scene. gonna look like, I mean, it's just gonna look like we're, like, like triumphing each other, right? Is or that or why don't we just do? give them exactly what they want and just wrestle? That's not wrestling. You guys can be shirtless. We need to be shirtless? Yeah. Nobody said that in our writer. Uh, no. I no. said it just happened. Oh my god, the director. I never had shirtless wrestling with a dude twice. We're gonna be shirtless wrestling? Really? I am definitely guilty of judging books by covers um, and I started off with our very own Joe. Uh, before anything JK ever existed, Joe, Bart, and I we were friends and the first time I met Joe, as you guys already know, he's like very loud and happy and like ah and like just all kinds of crazy. You talking um, shit about me over there? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you're recording. Guys, so stupid. Before any JK or anything, um, we were friends, and he came into the friend circle, and then Joe's being all blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, who is this guy? He's so fucking annoying. Ugh. And I just couldn't stand him because I was just like, why is this guy like, why does he have to be center of attention all the damn time? Like, God, so I wanted nothing to do with this guy. I didn't want to talk to him. I didn't even want to hang out in the same area that he was in. But then, you know, as like, I stopped being a bitch, and <laughs> so yeah so as I stopped being a bitch and then you know I I grew a heart and I grew up then I realized like wow this guy's actually pretty cool and you know he he he's not doing it for the sake of trying to be the center of attention or whatever it's just he's just really comfortable with who he is and how he is and you know I got to really appreciate that and I was like wow I kind of want to have that trait too just where it's like Hey, this is who I am. I'm, you know, I'm happy, I'm free, I'm doing whatever I wanna do. And I thought that was really, really dope. So, that was a huge lesson that I learned in judging books by covers and that I was just being a total bitch. So, if you don't wanna be a bitch, don't judge books by covers. I think we need to like hurt him. But we can't, cause he's so big. I think if we tag team him, we would still lose. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we were capable of bringing him down. Yeah, it's too big, we got it. We'll just have to take out Joe and see if he cares enough. <laughs> but I feel like Joe's like scrappy. He would like beat the shit out of me too. Well, he'd probably beat the shit out of you. Yeah, well, then. Uh, well, I can't. I think I would just get seriously injured. Okay, so then what are we gonna do then? Gio will kick Gio. my ass for sure. I think we can sort of, I think we can poison Gio. Fuck. We need Bobby on our side. I think that side Bobby Zahn's gonna win that fight. <laughs> What's that? What's that? JK versus us. Yeah. 
I think I'm with GK, man. I'm not a very judgmental person, but I remember um, watching David So before he was my buddy. And then like I would watch his YouTube and I'm like, dude, this guy is like a 17 year old, 5'3", like 200 pound kid. But when I first met him, he was like a six foot giant. And I was like, what the hell? After I got to know him, I was like, damn, dude, you're really fucking cool. But I gotta tell you, man, when I saw you on the video, I thought you were just some nerdy fat kid that tried to be black. But then, you know, I found out his story and like how he grew up and like how, you know, why he speaks like that and all that. I just felt bad, like because of the thoughts that came up just by watching his video, because that happens a lot actually. Like that happens to us, that happens to a lot of people on YouTube where like, just because, you know, you're putting yourself out there in the world and, they see the way that you, you know, vlog or they look, they, they, they only can make a judgment based off of what they see. They don't know your past, they don't know what you went through or anything like that. So like a lot of people will be like, oh, you probably some fucking rich ass Asian kid like everybody else and, and you know, you had a fucking uh, great life or whatever, you know, and then they, they pass judgment upon you. And I don't like it when people do it to us and I, I just felt bad that I had that kind of like thought about David when it, it's like, I didn't even know how tall he was and I didn't know, anything about them. Don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes the book has a shitty cover, but when you read it, you're like, oh my God, it's a good book. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where's the BTS, are you rolling? Yeah. Can we get this again? <laughs> we're not gay. Okay. Yeah, we're not gay. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? Did you get that? What, Mark, what, Mark what? directing us? Or, Tell us what to do, With this perverted his director mind. fucking, just, do you think you just take his shirt off, like, slip it in? You know, whatever. Time to rest my lines. Oh, okay. Yeah. Subscribe to um, our YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're not gay. Yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> we will never be gay. <laughs> there. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's go. Uh, all right. Let's go. I feel like I don't know. I think it's funny with your. It, I guess it's just weird. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh my what the god. Fuck. What the. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't dangled. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, just Don't promise me. me no more wrestling, okay? Don't talk to me. That's all you want to do I'm every serious, day. Just, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Stop it! Okay. You're just so slippery because of all those condoms okay. everywhere. Just, oh my contacts! My contacts! Stop! Stop shut it! Up. Ow! Shut up. That's so gay of you! Get out of here! What? Seriously, okay? What am I wearing? I don't know. So just Films gave it to me. The most common one for me in terms of judging people are it's usually guys. It's when guys that look very intimidating, I always judge them first. Like they're like that, that's the first thing that comes to mind. It's they're huge or like they're or they like you know look very mean or like usually white people look like so like they look very like neo Nazi ish depending on how they dress dress or their, their hair or whatever. And so like I always think that like, they're very like just not nice people. But then like when you get to know them they're like they're like they, they usually are like the nicest people and like I think that's that's probably the most common one, I think. Judging like intimidating looking people and they actually end up being very nice and and actually more giving and more uh, understanding than most people I guess. Another one would be Asian people. It's not racist, but I think Asian people look very uh I think they're very nerdy and quiet, you know, but then like there are those those hidden gems there though that they're just very not the stereotype and they, they always catch me off guard too. Like when you meet a loud Asian or very confident person that's Asian. It sounds racist as fuck actually. I don't know. We're done. I don't wanna do that again. <laughs> You're good. Well, no, I'm not doing it again. You better or got it. Uh, uh, yes, 
Okay. Show that we didn't enjoy that at all, but we're here because we support <laughs> Just Kidding Films. Yeah, Just Kidding Films. So subscribe. All the way. And then if you ever see them on the street, fucking sock them for Punch us. Punch them in the face. Kick them in the balls. If they have some, all three of them should. It's bullshit. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Tom. Would you rather have an uncontrollable itch that attacks at sporadic times or Always have chapped lips. I don't really have an itch. It's chap. I don't like chapped lips. Yeah, I'd rather have an itch randomly somewhere. Would you rather go to prison for five years or get punched hard in the face every hour of every day for five years? Damn, that means I'm like, okay. Every hour means I'm gonna have a bruise, walking around with a bruise on my face for five years, meaning that the bruise can be anywhere on my face. It can be multiple bruises anywhere on my face. Or five years in prison. More pain, more gain, right? So, punch in the face every hour, every day, for five years. Yeah. Sadly. More pain, more gain. <laughs>